here we go. We got this video here. It's a Sunny V2 video. Why Dream's face reveal was an awful decision. Let's get it going. I, I Listen, I don't know too much about Dream, but I feel like it was one of those things where maybe he was declining a little bit in popularity. And he's like, you know what I think would give me some some quick quick views? I'll show my face. And it, I think it worked, but I don't know how well it worked in the long term. Maybe it did work in the long term, but I, I don't know if it did. It seems like it may not have. And then it kind of takes down, like, it kind of, like... I don't know, removes that air of mystery in that character. Sometimes you just have to learn that as you get, you'll get older, your fans will get older and they don't necessarily want to keep up with you anymore. And that's okay. You know, that's okay. It's very difficult to transition, especially when you have like a younger audience, when you have like kids as your audience and like your, your content is geared towards young kids. What kids like, the trend kind of changes. It gets different. It goes this way, that way. It can be a little difficult to maintain that, you know, but let's see. Dream's face reveal could. Sorry, that's just. <laughs> it's just almost scary. Qualify. Dreams face reveal. I guess it's just a scary when I take off my hat. You see my shiny head. <gasps> it's, <laughs> it's like weird. Dreams face reveal. Oh my god. Could qualify as the worst mistake made by a content creator Ooh. ever. We're gonna I personally think EDP might have made a little bit more of a mistake, but okay. Several reasons why. Beginning with possibly the most crucial point being that Dreams' unseen face was one of the only things keeping him relevant. Maybe it was like a shtick. For example, Dream was able to appear in Mr. Beast. It's almost like Kane when Kane oh. took his mask off and then he was, he was like, oh, he's burned his whole life. And then he just had like black face paint on and then they got rid of the face paint and they just made Kane like a corporate guy. It was weird. 65 million view 2020 rewind simply because he hadn't shown his face yet, which accompanied hundreds of commentary type Whoa. videos teasing and clickbaiting what Dream apparently looked like. Dream did a face reveal, 2.6 million views. Did Dream just face reveal? No. Oh shit, we got, we got the. Uh... What Dream apparently looked like. Dream did a face Jade doing a fake face reveal. Oh, man. Face reveal, 2.6 million views. Did Dream just face reveal, 19 million views. People are really clickbaiting this. Views. Dream's face reveal, 21 million views. Whoa, Dream Team best moments. All of which providing insane amounts of traffic to Dream with absolutely no effort required. True, that is true. His end. There was then the monthly Twitter get together where everyone focused on Dream while trying to figure out who he was, including this classic. Looks like me when I was younger. <laughs> Post reading hashtag dream out. Can we discuss how he catfished 20 million people into believing he's some cute ripped twink while he looks like Aww. this IRL? Bro, I feel bad for this young man that he's just he's just a little chunky, and there's nothing wrong with that. And everybody's getting everybody's just like, Ew! Dream Lion was just fat fuck. Like that's the energy that we're kind of getting here. It's, it's so mean. Yes, this is a picture of Dream. Yes, he uses his brother as a body double for merch pics, oh, which accompanied numerous yeah. posts by Dream himself, where he was able to capture the public's attention by teasing a hand, glove, or mouth, prompting even more traffic toward Dream. That doesn't even look like his mouth, I feel. But okay. Brand and videos. Now, Dream did explain in his face reveal that he was tired of people going to insane links to try and expose what he looked like. I just don't like his facial expressions. I think that's it. I don't like his facial expressions. He's like... It's like very, it's very, uh, I don't know. It's too intense. Like people are trying to leak my face, trying to find out what I look like, trying to, there's too, there's too many. It's a, a little, a little, just a tiny, tiny bit too much. Yet perhaps he was simply unaware. Was that actually him? No. Of just how relevant these incidents were keeping him. Additionally, since almost all growth on YouTube comes from some kind of uncomfortability, Dream should have recognized this feeling as a signpost to let these attempted exposés continue, giving him wave after wave of free relevancy. On top of free relevancy, Dream's anonymity simply gave people a reason to follow his story and Maybe Dream just wanted to reveal his face, though. And you and, and you know what I mean? Like, maybe he's just like, you know what, guys? I'm tired of keeping up the facade. I want people to like me. Maybe he did it because he thought it would be good for his career. Maybe he did it because he's made so much money. And he's just like, I am tired of keeping up the charade. And I can respect that. Sometimes you got to take that mental health focus. As a creator. It made and plus, then it's like, you know, instead of him slowly declining, now you can be like, yeah, he, he revealed his face, and that's why. And he's like, yeah, I made that decision. You know what I mean? Like, there's something powerful about, like, I made the decision. I ripped the Band-Aid off. I, I, you know, and instead of, like, slowly falling off, I decided to just reveal my face. And it's like, okay, if that's what made him feel better, why not? The whole thing fun for the audience. As mentioned in this article by PC Gamer, fangirls seem to often perpetuate the mystery with fan art, unapologetic standing videos, and fantasy situations. There's also some stuff on real Rule 34. There's some rule 34 of him as well. It's disgusting. With Dream's face reveal putting an instant end to all of this, the illusion of him being a supermodel, unusual, or perhaps a god amongst men is gone. He really uh, is just a god amongst us, among us. To guy you'd see on the street. Dream also hey, seemed to ignore just how much of the brand itself was based on his hidden image. His song mask, which has over 30 million views, only exists because <laughs> he's a faceless creator, while on his merch site, almost every piece of clothing still uses the anonymous Dream smiley face. 
Well, yeah, of course. You can't give it up. Like, I was actually just thinking, like, if you decide, if him deciding to, like, reveal his face, he shouldn't always show his face. He should just go back um, to, like, the face thing, you know? There's something that's charmingly simple, unique, and memorable about the smiley face, which, when combined with the classic dream green, makes for incredibly distinctive brand. It looks like pee. Like unhealthy pee, thing, as can be observed in the case of his Minecraft skin. However, it now feels as though most of his branding is fairly redundant, as we now know what he looks like. Nah, I still think it's cool. Yet at the same time, Dream has made no effort to change. Is that Dream also? Why does he look like seven different people all the time? His branding to match his real life image, which would also be a poor strategy, as he'd then have to change everything to something completely new. It's almost like the channel is still represented by a green and white smiley face. Yeah, it although should be. when you think about Dream, you instead think about this image representing some kind of unexplainable inconsistency. It's a weird face posture. You, know? you like that my you like my that my hat match my shirt. My wife got me a maroon hat, so I decided to wear my maroon shirt. I also got a Harry Potter hat yesterday because I went to some Harry Potter forest trail thing, which was cool. For most channels, adding a face can provide the brand with a strong dose of recognizability. However, in the case of Dream. Ew, what the fuck is what are you uh, what is that his face reveal seemed to do the opposite and instead weakened what was already working what this reveals and what should be obvious was that a face reveal was never necessary in the first place with over 30 million subscribers dream had built the largest minecraft channel in youtube history and never had to show his face once none of his thumbnails ever used an over-the-top surprised face yet still achieved sometimes over 100 million views while the content itself was more entertaining without a face cam in the bottom left hand corner i have like i have ear hair and i'm like just sitting here pulling it out it hurts, but I'm just like, I'm old. And they're all like, they're gray. It's weird. Dream's unique strategy was definitely out of the ordinary. However, it was still- I seem like a Ravenclaw. Yeah, I took that. My wife had me take the test and apparently I got Ravenclaw. I don't really know what it means or care, but- Really working extremely well. So if the content wasn't broken, then why was Dream trying to fix it? What was his motive for revealing his face? Well, Dream seemed to imply that the plan was to make in real life content with his friends. A lot of you are probably wondering, why now? Why are you finally revealing your face? My goal was to just start doing things. Get out. Be Oh, okay, there you go. So maybe he wanted to get rid of the mystery so he could actually go out and do stuff. Creators, say hi to my friends, finally. I will make more IRL content as well, where I'm with me and my friends and we do things, and I'll do Minecraft content as well, where I'm in. Okay, he wants to mature as his content. I actually think that's, I respect that. In real life, like there was a cool video idea I had a long time ago that I couldn't do until now. And while this was an excellent plan with a lot of potential upside, his execution on the idea has been far from impressive. I think that there's probably no way he could have executed this in a way that would have like satisfied Sunny V2 with his perspective of what success is or isn't. That's it. I, I think that like when you look at it from a purely financial perspective, yeah, maybe it wasn't the best. But like what I was just saying, what did I just say before? That like content creators, like especially when they do content for kids, which is like Minecraft stuff, and I'm assuming Dream started as a kid, you kind of have to grow up. And for Dream, it's been, it seems like a natural growing up point for him is just making content with his friends with his face out where it's silly. And I don't know what channel he's doing that on, but <clears throat> it's probably doing well relative to any like normal person. He's probably making really good money still relative to like me, obviously, and a lot of other people. And he's happy. So what matter? What does it matter? You know what I mean? Like, who cares? That's what I that's the way I look at it with anything else. So um yeah. It's been a quarter of a year since Dream uploaded his face reveal, yet there hasn't been a single upload since. Dream stated that he was going to move Oh, that makes even more sense. He would that was him killing the channel so he could focus on other content. Wait, he's wait, he this everything he just got tired of the character. Maybe he just got tired of making the Minecraft content. There's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly fine. Um yeah, he probably just got tired of making the content. It seemed like he hadn't posted. Yeah, okay, good for him. Like, what does he have? Another channel, Dream XD, Dream Gang. He has a lot of different channels. It seems like what is it? Dream Gaming, Dream Shorts, Minecraft. Which one is the one that he actually does content? I don't know. This one is from a month ago. Uh, yeah, it seems, I don't know where he's making content now, but maybe he's just tired of making the content. That's probably all it is. Um, yeah, good for him. This one's from two weeks ago. I don't even know if that's him though. Okay, whatever. Who cares?
move into a content house with George and Sapnap, yet the only two pieces of content that have come out of their group house are a pretty basic Christmas stream, as well as a clip explaining why they hate living in the house together. George and Sapnap seem pretty busy doing the banter podcast, which I will credit as being a pretty entertaining show. However, Dream isn't even one of the hosts and has only been featured on the podcast once, which happened two months before the face reveal was even uploaded. It oh, seems like okay. the only real upside Dream got from his face reveal was 50 million views on the video itself, another couple million views from other people talking about it, as well as an- Check Dream's community post. He's taking a break and returning soon. Oh, yeah. I mean, the dude made so much money. Let me, I'll check it out. The dude made so much money. Of course, he's just chilling. <laughs> That's all it boils down to. That's what it all is, because community post. The lack of content will come to an end in December, which it hasn't. Lots of awesome plans and lots of unique creators. Yeah, okay. He's it just seems like he's kind of tired of content creator, and he made he's made a ton of money, so he's like taking a break and he doesn't care. Okay. Appearance in the recent Mr. Beast Antarctica video, during which he barely said a word. I watched Mr. Beast's video about Antarctica. And Orange Peanut. This guy's interesting. This guy reads as somebody uh, as a young man who's going to be very successful on the platform. Um, we've watched, um, I've watched some of his content, a little bit of it, his interaction with Jake Doolittle. And like, I obviously don't ap agree with someone like this, you know, in that perspective, it was like him and Jake Doolittle going back and forth and, you know, some of the, the fat stuff I, I, that, you know, there's this one, I think he's missing the mark on a little bit here and there. Um, but overall, you know, he seems like a pretty, he's a confident a young guy he's probably going to be pretty he's already is successful but i mean like it'll probably be a little more viral as time goes on and i noticed mm. the dream was in it and he was extremely boring and even then you have to question if this kind of exposure is all that beneficial for dream most personality based uh, orange peanut isn't the new sneaker I'll relax creators with a similar following to dream have gradually exposed their faces to the world over a number of years and have built up a tolerance for what that kind of experience is really like what is, what is this? Is this music? What, is, what am I looking at? It's all that beneficial for Dream. Most personality-based creators with a similar following to Dream have gradually exposed their faces to the world over a number of years and have built up a tolerance for what that kind of experience is really like. Additionally, these others have also got a feel for yeah, 50 mil for a face reveal. That dude's probably made bank. For how to act on camera, which is a skill set in and of itself. In Anthony Padilla's I Spent a Day with Dream video, Dream explained that his main skill or edge over other YouTubers related back to his Minecraft skill. I feel like I didn't blow up because I have this like amazing personality. He's got like makeup on. Wait, what's this? What's so weird about this is that he seems to show this very weird angle of his face to the camera, even with the mask on. This is so weird. This looks like somebody drew this. ...over other YouTubers related back to his Minecraft skill. I feel like I didn't blow up because I have- I feel like they, they, they put makeup on his face and did his hair in such a way and the mask in such a way that's meant to be viewed from one angle and that's what it is. That's an animation? Is that really an animation? That's not actually him? Oh, then I'm a fucking moron. Wow, I look so dumb right now. <laughs> Wait, is that really it? It's so weird. What? This like amazing personality. I think I blew up because of my ideas, the quality of the idea and the execution. What? <laughs> Stop. Shut up. Stop fucking with me. Stop making fun of me. Stop. I'm ending the stream if you don't stop right now. Stop bullying me right now. Stop bullying me. Stop. Stop it. Pokemon was right. We need to stop the online bullying. This is insane. You guys are bullying an old man. For what? Because what? You guys thought it was him too. You guys pretended that you knew. Shut up. God damn it. Shut up. The shading's unrealistic. Shut up. You know what? I watch the makeup shows on TV. They they, they can do something like that. <laughs> All right. Well, the drawing was very good. The drawing was very believable, in my opinion, so. Yeah, versus yeah. the quality of, like, the personality. Fuck. And just because Dream knows how to play Minecraft in a unique way doesn't necessarily mean he'll be an entertaining on-screen personality. Then there's the question of what happens to a person's self-image and outlook on life when they go from completely anonymous to having their face known by 50 million people within the space of a month. Sure, Dream likely had a rough idea about what this kind of exposure was going to be like, given he already had 30 million followers and had been through Damn. drama in the past, but generally those were attacks on Dream the persona as opposed to Dream the person. Remember when SoFlo Antonio rebranded to just SoFlo? No, I don't know who this Stating is. that the only reason he did it was because it's much harder to attack a brand than a person? Well, Dream kind of did the opposite to this in exchange for, as mentioned previously, very little upside. Dream now- 
I think that like if again, if you look at it purely monetarily, like the upside isn't there. But I think if you look at this from like a mental health perspective, I guess you'd say it goes, it's good. Has to deal with attacks that simply didn't exist beforehand, which began as soon as his face reveal went live. For example, he's ugly began to trend on Twitter instantly. And while this had little to do with the channel and can certainly be dismissed as untrue, it still likely had some kind of hit to his ego and possibly even his desire to add his face. Saying he's ugly and leaving my phone on vibrate incredible face into future videos. Then in case half the internet telling you that you're unattractive. The way that you recommend a video through Discord is you link your YouTube to your Discord and then there's a YouTube suggestions channel. If isn't already bad enough, Dream then had to deal with a wave hey, of Twitter so, allegations, yeah. which began only one day after his face reveal was uploaded. Yeah, sure. Those allegations were like kind of silly. The YouTuber trending right now. I've talked about them. You can look it up if you want. I don't care to talk about it again. He face revealed to me years ago when he was flirting with me when I was a minor through his personal snap number. And, and she was like 17 and he was like 19. It didn't matter. And Twitter. Which is 20. Who cares? 20, 20 and 17 is fine. He did an care. image captioned. He's only face revealing because he's scared I'll do it first. Dream responded to these allegations by stating, in these DMs, there are no inappropriate comments whatsoever. It was just friendly conversation. In these screenshots, them being 18 years old is mentioned in their bio. And I also very clearly asked them for their age. I did not act inappropriately with this person and any attempt to equate these messages to grooming is not only disgusting but is insulting to victims who actually experience grooming and true grooming isn't just i talked to somebody who was like young it, grooming is like a very methodical process um and you're 17 i don't know how I'm, i don't know if you could be listen i don't know 17 and 20 or 22 19 you could I, you can't be groomed by a 20 year old or it would have to be massively rare. She would have to have like a mental disorder or something, some kind of like mental instability. She would have to be deemed. She would have to be like deemed non-consenting by the state, or be in such a serious state of like mental distress that is so uncommon. So it's like impossible. All right. Everybody likes to be like, well, you could groom anybody at any age. It's so almost impossible to groom like an adult. Just so you know, they would have to have like a significant distressor in their life. Like they would have to have like some kind of like intellectual or developmental disability. Or my glasses will not get clean. Or they have to be like, I don't know. Maybe their fucking mom just died and they're in a hysterical moment. I mean, it's so rare. I don't know. <laughs> Still have trauma as a result. The drama ended with the two claiming that they plan on taking legal action against each other. However, this wasn't the end of Dream's unfavorable situations, as he then gets some of his Snapchats leaked. This dude got his Snapchat absolutely exposed. With okay, he's cringe. Who cares? Situations, as he then gets some of his Snapchats leaked. This dude got his Snapchat absolutely Stages of body hair, color, and style wet. Absolutely exposed. Cringe With all of his thirst traps and uh, well, let's just say it's absolutely All my clothes are dirty. I'm so fancy. These are just cringe pictures, not even thirst traps. Embarrassing to say the least. The most socially awkward vibes I've ever seen from any content creator. Like this guy, I'm convinced, has no social interaction besides talking to George and Tommy in it on Discord. Probably, yeah, he's an online person. A lot of online people don't know how to talk to people in real life. The point we're trying to make here is that his face reveal has given unprecedented access to his personal life. Every attack on him now holds significantly more weight and could potentially reduce his motivation to be a YouTuber altogether. Dream's other problem was that his face reveal was uploaded at the worst time imaginable. Major changes to a channel are always best executed when things are on the up and up, because if you change things during a slump in your channel, it looks like you're acting out of desperation, and it certainly felt like this in the case of Dream. It doesn't feel like that at all. It feels like he just wanted to step away from like the the, the facade. His channel had fallen from gaining a hundred million views per month to around twenty million views per month, and to oh no! But the next month after that was higher. It's a mean? dream. His channel had fallen from gaining a hundred million views. This is okay. Yeah, hundred millions here. That's crazy. But this one is almost. This is two hundred million views per month to around. What? Certainly felt like this in the case of Dream. His channel had fallen from gaining a hundred million views per month to. This is two hundred million, and this is like sixty million around 20 million views per month and to randomly upload a face reveal after having a oh no only 20 million views a month shit lowest monthly viewership in over two and a half years wasn't exactly the best look dream had also seemingly ended his extremely successful speedrunner vs hunter series and could without a doubt see minecraft decline in youtube popularity while i could be completely wrong with this his face reveal felt like it was coming from a position of i can see my channel dying so let me upload this for some quick short-term relevancy that does not how it reads to me at all which probably isn't going to sit well with the audience over the long term now, if he was doing that, he would have continued to upload videos to his channel. He, it just really, to me, seemed like he wanted to kind of get out of the of like the face game. So, yeah, I like Sony V2, but he has a very like he is very clearly he has a very terminally online perspective. Where, or he's or, excuse me, let me not say terminally online. He has a very content brain perspective on everything like he i don't think that he understands human motivations for for things everything is very like from he's right about like what the best for content is dream should have kept the facade up but like what's best for dream it doesn't necessarily that i want papa gut to pee on my face but just as a friend there's nothing weird about that 
I want him to pee on my face. 